start playing, like, when did you start playing guitar? Uh, I started playing guitar at the age of 11 after, <clears throat> after my um, father decided that I was really shit at sport. And, um, I was like, he, he wanted me to play cricket and football and tennis and I was just really shit at all of those. So he pulled a guitar out from under the bed and went, well, you may as well play this. <laughs> well, you know, you started when you were 11, so that, so you're like, you're almost four years better than me, which is, explains a lot actually about this band. It explains a lot about the band. You can, you can tour Europe and you can have a, a gig here and then drive for one and a half hours, have one more show bum, 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 in Australia, on the east coast of Australia, which is like 2,000 miles, there's three shows. <laughs> you know, you go, okay, let's play Adelaide, Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane. Nah, that's it. Oh, definitely, definitely, yeah. yeah. Some of our biggest influences is, uh, are Australian and still are. Yeah, we, we, we're very much champions of the Melbourne music scene. It's a very healthy music scene and, um, yeah, we love it there. We love to get back as often as possible too. We're really products. You can, uh, maybe you don't know if you don't know the Melbourne scene, but if you, if you did and you met us, you'd go, oh, yeah, you're, you're Melbourne guys because... It's a particular scene and we're very much products of it, you know. We, play, we played in Melbourne for a long, long time in different bands. That's, that made us what we are. We're, we're, we're completely in love with each other, but we can't live in the same country. Yeah. Yeah, it works out okay because we see each other on tour and then we live in different countries, so we don't get a chance to get sick of each other. Well, there's this thing called the internet. And we, we harness the power of the internet to communicate and just, it's difficult. It's slow and it's difficult, but we get it done, you know? Yeah. Yeah, distance is not always a bad thing because it gives you time to kind of process. We work through recording, so we send ideas to each other. Yeah, being apart is can can have its benefits too. We don't know it any other way because we we started the band in with this setup. So, for us it works because we developed around it. Yeah. Apparently we, we met, like, I was, uh, I had a residency, like, a, I was, I was playing some solo gigs, really, really shitty solo gigs in a, in a, pub, a bar in Melbourne, once per week, and Aaron's, Aaron saw one of those shows, and apparently I went and got stoned with him and two of his friends after the show, and he gave me a lift home, but I don't remember, and then, like, I don't know, nine years later, I got an email from him saying, hey man, I'm living in London, you know, you don't really know me, we have friends in common, I want to get this band together, this is the idea, he sent me some songs. One of the songs was like a demo of Less Unless, which was like the first track that sort of got us noticed. 
and like I was over music. I didn't want to do music anymore. But um, yeah, I heard less and less this demo, and it was like, <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? So I was sold. So I said, oh, okay, let's be in a band. Let's do it. Uh, the box, well, the box is a very mysterious and curious enigma, really. Uh, we, don't, we don't really fully know um, how it works or what's inside. It, it was kind of like the founding member of the band and, you know, like, yeah. Asshole. The box is a real asshole. It's rude. It drinks too much. It farts. Like, when you're in the hotel, it gets up in the middle of the night and it, like, just starts watching television. You're like, what the fuck, man? So yeah, the box is a problem, but it's uh, it's a drama, so we we live with it. Yeah, yeah, it's it does the job, you know. I don't know, just like in a river. <laughs> yeah, we might we use it as a speeding car, just fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I, I have a feeling, you know, if we did like throw it off a boat or something, it would wake up the next morning and it would just be like in the lounge room, just going. Why did you do that, you know? <laughs> yeah, really wet and really angry. A bit more less unless. A bit more less unless, yeah. <laughs> 